Hello, how are you? Welcome to CEO, where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans and um, everybody else. <laughs> this time I'm going on a path of reflection, reflection on who I am. I re received um, an inquiry, a very subtle inquiry about who are you and um, in terms of some of the issues I've spoken about, including a specific lady wanted to know about my opinion regarding being a single parent. Now, I am a single parent and I say this in deep acceptance and joy and I'm not prescribing it to anybody. It is my status and most who know me know I embrace wherever I am as a sacred place because I believe insofar as I draw breath, everywhere I stand, every experience is sacred and divine. So I'm not one to whine and pine after. I just embrace and celebrate and receive fully where I am. I'm a woman who lives in the present. So this is it. I'm a single parent. I don't prescribe it. I don't go against it. And that's who I am. And I chose it. That's what makes my situation unique. I knew from the within the first month I was pregnant that I was going to raise my son alone. He's now in his teens, a beautiful, beautiful joy to me. My life story has been that I've been married and divorced and I do not blame anybody for my life journeys in terms of finding a mate and a partner. You know, there are many who have stories of why they are single and it's usually through some devastating experiences. I don't have any of those. I do international work. I've walked around the world. I'm not in any place long enough to have formed a solid, strong relationship. And I've accepted it. I've accepted the fact that I'm an international humanitarian aid worker who travels around the world as a price I pay for having a traditional home. I've traveled around the world with my teenage son. We've lived in many countries, traveled around. That is a choice I made. I have no nasty bad experiences with men. I celebrate every relationship I've had. They have met and been and dated very powerful, beautiful, great men. I've not been able to stay with them because I have a career path. I have a life journey that takes me around the world. I'm not in any place long enough. And I know each and every one of those men would make a home with me if I was anywhere long enough. So I appreciate them, I celebrate them. And that is my life's journey. Sometimes we have to embrace the difficult consequences of the choices we make. That's what makes life beautiful. And this one is, thank you.